Hello, we are group ABCDEF and this video is about the Hue Cipher. Okay, so first we'll be talking about the history and applications of the Hue Cipher. The Hue Cipher was invented by Lester S. Hue in 1929. It is a polygraphic substitution cipher based on linear algebra. It uses matrices and matrix multiplication to encrypt the plain text. In 1929, this cipher is a very powerful combination and shows that Hue understood the concepts of confusion and diffusion and meet in the middle attacks. However, people charged him because his system was too complicated for normal use. Therefore, Hugh decided to come up with a Hugh cipher machine using a series of gears and wheels. Another reason why Hugh invented the machine was because the Hugh cipher offers no advantage over other ciphers such as the Playfair or the Befit cipher, and is even weaker than them as it is more complicated and difficult to do on pen and paper. So having a machine will speed up the process by a lot. Furthermore, as the dimension gets more complicated, it becomes more impossible to work the cipher by hand. However, the machine was not really so. The Hue cipher can be used to send a message such that even when a third party intercepts it, he or she cannot tell what it is. Now moving on to the encryption of the Hue cipher. The Hue cipher mainly revolves around the use of matrix multiplication, as well as the use of modulo functions. To get on with the cipher, Let's introduce how matrix multiplication works. A matrix is an array of numbers. In this example, we'll be using a 2 times 2 matrix. To multiply a matrix by a matrix, we use the run and jump method. The first number is multiplied horizontally, and then the second number is multiplied vertically. So this is how a matrix is multiplied by a matrix. To create a plain text using the Hue cipher, we first take our plain text and divide the letters into groups of 2, as our key is a 2 times 2 matrix. Our plain text in this example will be hello, and H and E are the first two letters. They are grouped together. The letters are replaced by their respective numbers, such that A is 0, B is 1, C is 2, so on and so forth. So, H will be 7 and E will be 4. Then, we get a key. For example, we will be using this 2 times 2 matrix. Now, we take the key and multiply the numbers of the plain text in their groups separately. Taking 5 from the key, multiplying 7 from the plain text, which is 35, and adding it to 8 in the key and 4 in the plain text, which is 32, we will obtain 67. We do the same for the bottom and take 2 times 7 plus 3 times 4, which is 26. Now, we have obtained the two values 67 and 26. We mod the number by 26. We will then get 15 and 0. You have just obtained your cipher text. Now, we will be moving on to the decryption of the Hill cipher. To begin decryption, we must know the key that was used to encrypt the plain text. Then we must inverse it, or in other words, to let the key be raised to a power of negative 1. An example in mathematics using real numbers will help us understand this concept better. For example, 2 multiplied by 3 will be equal to 6. If 3 is the key and we want to get back the plain text, which is 2 in this example, we will have to multiply 6, which in this case is a cipher text, by 1 third, which is 3 being raised to the power of negative 1, which will essentially give us 2. In the Hill cipher, this similar concept is used. By multiplying the cipher text by the inverse of the key, we are able to get back our plain text. To inverse our key, which is a 2 by 2 matrix, where the numbers have been represented by letters A, B, C, and D, we will have to swap the positions of A and D, and put negatives in front of C and B, and then divide everything by the determinant, which is AD minus BC. To show a real example of this, we will now erase A with 5, B with 8, C with 2, and D with 3, which is our key. We switch 3 and 5, and add negatives to 2 and 8, as you can see here. Now we divide the whole thing by 3 times 5 minus 2 times 8. This will give us the inverse of our key. To prove that it is indeed the inverse, we know that a times a to the power of negative 1 equals to 1. If we multiply the original matrix by its inverse, we will get a matrix which is known as the identity matrix, which is the matrix equivalent of the number 1. For a 2 by 2 matrix, the identity matrix is this. So to test our inverse key, we have to multiply our matrices together. 
As you can see, our answer is the identity matrix and we have proven that it is indeed the inverse of our key. Now we use this inverse key to multiply our cipher text, which is 15 and 0. And then we mod the answer by 26. And we will get our print text, which is 7 and 4. This represents the letters H and E, which is our original plain text. We have come to the end of our video. We hope that you have now understood how the Hill cipher came about and how to encrypt and decrypt it.